Welcome to another episode of Find Me in Seattle. Today we're at Bob's Pumpkin Patch and Corn Maze. We're here to pick pumpkins, get lost in the corn maze. Part two will be us cutting the pumpkins, uh, but it should be fun. There's also some good food stands here. Starts with a hayride. So here's how bobs work. 18 bucks gets you a wristband. The wristband gets you on the hayride that takes you out to this back pumpkin patch, where I guess it's the exclusive pumpkins. There's another pumpkin patch that's out to the public as well. And first, before we get the pumpkins, we're gonna do this corn maze. Yeah, this would be insane in the so, dark. So fun fact, they do a dark one and it starts at 6 p.m. Yeah. And in the middle of the maze, they have bonfires that you can rent for $40 an hour. Let me run down and make sure that's a blank. Yeah, we need to go to that one. There's lots of circles, but this map, I'm gonna spoil it for you. If you come here, you gotta go out. We're gonna go all the way around through Bob's, down this other flower, you gotta make it back into the center here, and then you get out. This might be a little longer than we thought. All right. So now that we finished through the corn maze, it's time to pick a pumpkin. Look at this little pumpkin. It's like, I could almost eat it all. That's adorable. Some of my tips for picking the perfect pumpkin. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it being dirty. You can clean it off. But what you want is uh, somewhat of a flat bottom. You want to have a big round face. And I actually think the backside doesn't really matter all that much because you're just going to be carving the face. The big thing to remember when you're picking pumpkins, you got to clear out all the guts on the inside. So the bigger the pumpkin, the more guts you got to clean out. Dirty, but uh, clean that up. I think that might be the winner. 